<gasps> oh my f what the f what all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching you season two episode seven now in the last episode oh joe 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 yeah so at the end of the episode delilah's friend that's a cop fincher i think his name was he's he called delilah and he's like yo look i think there's something off about your friend joe you know there's just too many coincidences coincidences he only makes 12 dollars an hour walking while working at the bookstore he gave me these very expensive headphones these headphones cost more than he makes in a week and he just gave them away for me what the hell is that about it was the same night hendy was murdered so what the hell is going on and he told delilah all that and delilah was like no 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 and then she started thinking about every every single time like joe said something like weird to her like she went into his apartment looked for stuff she didn't find the painting hiding the hole in the wall she she looked behind a different painting but not the one that he hides the stuff behind but she did find keys to his storage unit she investigated and then she found his cage he walked in because he saw on his nanny cam that she went in and found the keys so he had to go meet her there and trap her ass in there so i guess that means delilah is dead like that's she's as good as dead like he might drag it on for a bit he might drag it on for a couple episodes but she's pretty much gonna die there is no i don't see a single possibility he lets her out and then they just go their separate ways i do not see that happening at all i think delilah is good as dead by now but then that sucks for ellie because then who's gonna take care of ellie that's like the only thing preventing joe from killing her but i think he's gonna do it anyway because he, no, he has no other choice she was already gonna turn his ass in she already found all the evidence she was already gonna do it all she was already gonna turn him in, so so she's for sure doing it if he lets her go. So, RIP Delilah. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Ellie needs me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say a word. You think I ever shed a tear over that asshole? And then whatever the thing is, I will not tell a soul. I want to believe you, Delilah. I'm not stupid. Oh, far from it. Prove I can trust you. I heard Ben got another DUI. Uh yeah, but you didn't hear that from me. Are you free tonight? <laughs> you said prove it. I proved it. Could run straight to him and tell him everything. Why don't we, um, let's come to an agreement. I don't want to die in here. You won't. She may not die in here, but she's going to die. Arrangements for me to escape. Ella will go free, even if it means breaking my own heart. Goodbye, love. This is not goodbye. Park. Instead of the passport, Will made me in case mm. I ever needed a plane ticket for tomorrow at 9.02 a.m. Oh. Mm. oh, what the fuck are those? No, mm. no, 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 no. They're, they're time release. There's... They unlock automatically. Okay, I see what he's gonna do. And then we set the timer to go off when I am on my way out of the city. Yep, 16 hours. Sorry, our friendship had to end like this. But she'll be fine tomorrow. I don't know, maybe, maybe she does live. Maybe she does. But ultimately, I don't think Joe ends up leaving. So... I think Delilah still died. I was using Milo. I haven't thought about him since he left. Will, on the other hand, want the guy, go get him. It's too late. And he's not who you thought he was. And in that case, boy, bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And he's going to leave and then he's going to crush her and break her fucking heart. Because now she's committed to trying to get him back. Dear love. Oh, he's just going to leave a note. Wolf you always, Joe. Wolf you, damn. Boy, oh. you are not going to believe this. I bet I'm also not going to care. <laughs> NBD, right? Guess who just called me? Who? Lee. Catherine yeah. read the book after we talked, and now she wants to see a script. She's right? Yeah, so we got to get to work, like, right now. It's 30 minutes, then go on about your whatever. Timing <laughs> couldn't be worse, but this is... Yeah, we don't have time important to you so my parting gift to you wow pedestrian it's good right i'm still reading but it's mid like why should it always be the woman keeping track of shit like that feminism what the fuck <laughs> yeah you can't uh -huh. park here they after joe 
said you what can't. Doing? What are you doing? Oh, what, what are you doing? Wait, okay, this is definitely not like the cops or the fucking FBI. What the fuck is this? Who the hell hired these people? Is this happening? What do I do? Is this connected to Handy? Henderson, Jasper, Goons, Salingers. Mm. Now I've dragged this poor idiot into my bullshit. Ugh. Last thing you wanted to do is get Ford involved. <laughs> so sorry, Joe. This is all my fault. What do what you do? About? I'm not the man that you think I am. I what? The fuck? I'm an addict. Okay, we know. I know you're an addict. No, Joe, a gambling addict. Okay. Oh. I've been in the hole for months. Is this the fucking IRS? <laughs> Or are these like loan sharks or something? Forty got money from him, and then they just he has he hasn't paid them back. So then well, this episode took a turn I did not expect. You should see your face right now. <laughs> oh wait, was this fucking fake, bro? What the? It was pretty convincing, huh? What the fuck? What was the point of this? This is fucking insane. Even mm. for you. We have to break out of our comfort zone if we get with the muse. Yeah, get get us the right better or something. I'm like. Dude, fuck off, Forty. Mm, about that. See, oh I will shoot us. <laughs> no, he won't. Dimitri, don't give a fuck, bro. And BT Dubs, he confiscated all your shit, so. Have that back. You write script. Yes. <sighs> bro, I'd fuck. I'd be so mad. <laughs> this is not funny, Forty. Like, I wouldn't even be in the mood to write. If it no can do. He will not let us out of here until we have a completed script. All right, bang this out in two hours, Joe. Bang it out in two hours. Just half-ass it as hard as you can. Forty will fall for it. He'll think you're a genius. Forty, I didn't sign up for this. Forty will fall for it. He just gave him the most half-ass shit ever. He'll think it's a genius. What are you doing here? What's all the noise about? Oh, he he brought her. She's fine. She's across the hall. He hired me as your guys' writing assistant. This crazy, entitled, sick son of a bitch. How has he mm. lived this long? And so many accidents can happen in a hotel room. Bro, you're not gonna kill him. <laughs> no way. Wolf you always. Oh, she's reading it. Oh. Good, okay. If we cut some fat from the bottom of Act 2, the flow will be much smoother. Dope. Bro, what the fuck is that? It's kombucha and dexedrine. Oh, it's my secret weapon for staying focused. I'm diagnosed ADHD. Bro, just of take course. that away. <laughs> Finn. Mm. Oh, thank God. Finally. What's wrong with her? I just don't think you're done. Oh, no, no. Say more. First off, the script is predictable. Okay. Oh my God, we gotta revise it all. We gotta redo it. No, Ellie is too smart and way too honest. Shit. Beth. Okay, okay. What would you suggest? Don't do it. Ellie. I think you should start over. Fuck. <laughs> Forty, where are you going? I gotta get out of here. Oh, great, well, let's tell Dimitri we're making a change of- Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, 40, so, bro. wait, stop! What? Bro, no, this has to be like a story high. Like, yeah, into the trash can, yeah, he's following. Jesus Christ, you fucking maniac though, dude. Not handle criticism very well. If I lose him, I'll never get my passport back. Smack. Yeah. Dude, this is so annoying. We're just on a goose chase. This escalate. Talk him off the ledge. You're talented. I'm a loser. Bro, you can get better at writing though, Forty. It's a skill you learn over time. Like, you can get better at it. He's still in touch with Candace? She wants it, and I do too, I guess. This can't be happening. That's it. Yes. Attention. Ten grand in cash if... This handsome groom will let me kiss his beautiful bride. No. Forty, let's get some coffee. Oh my god. I would say He's sure. A Just a quick, quick kiss. Fuck it, 10k. All right, stop. You can stop right there. <laughs> Help the mortgage, you know. And before it's even begun, enjoy it. Forty has ruined their marriage. Damn. In 40 the addict, 40 the braggart, the crybaby, the manipulator. Never seen this side. Your brother, love, is dangerous. Very selfish. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Forever. That is the time you started drinking your seltzer. And it's... Bro, did you drug it? And the fuck you are. Dude, you put like ecstasy in it? 
kind of definitely dosed your seltzer water with LSD. He's joking. He has. Motherfucker. Give you four times the usual dose to make sure that it would work. I've never what taken acid before. Fuck! Four times a regular dose and he's never taken it? Oh. I love, but your brother's a lost cause. Bro, since you're on LSD, just go fucking fight Dimitri and get your shit back. You'll probably win. Nah, you need like meth to fight someone, not LSD. Like the gun, he probably has it. It's probably fake, to be honest. So it's like... Your father's cheating again. Him seeing us together here is gonna make him very happy. Seven likes already. Wow. You pretending that dad's cheating doesn't hurt you? Or that 40 is any walking time bomb? And did to 40 was criminal. Then what did you do? Remember, a sage smudge. Mm. She should have gone to jail. It wasn't possible. You pretended like it wasn't happening and late. He's your son. I did what I had to do. What unconditional love feels like. That's not it. This is not it. Janice, where is he? If only I hadn't been brought here in a hood and jumped out the window. Mm. Oh, it's love. What's up? What are you doing here? Um, I was hoping that I would run into you. I saw you on his Instagram this afternoon and I put two and two together. I'm gonna miss how smart you are. That letter you wrote shattered me. She's gonna ask him to stay. Meet me tomorrow. Mm. And we've been through a lot. Oh, he's driven. Such a short period of time, and I care about you. Oh, no. I would just say it right now. I'll be like, look, I just want to let you know right now, your brother drugged me with LSD, and it's kicking in right now. I understand. Speak. No. no. He, he, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. He can't talk. I'm sorry. Your mother's a demon. <laughs> I have to rescue you from her. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we're about to see. Is that me? Yeah, we're about to see some. Jo we're about to see Joe's demons. And he's about to face them. Mom. Your mom's not here. But use that. <sighs> the whole thing needs to be from Beck's perspective. It, it should have been from the very beginning. What? Why didn't you start with that? Who lost her life to give us this story? What was she searching? Is Joe about to talk about Beck and like how he knew her and stuff? Beck, Beck, come on, come on, Joe. I think I'm dead. I would be grateful. Your life was a mess. Yes, but it was my life. I like how you can kind of hear Beck's voice. I can't do this. Come on, Joe. Is this getting too real for Joe? You're, You're not, not special. special. You're broken. broken. I could never love you. You are the bad thing. You are the thing that you should have killed. Oh fuck, no, no he's not, no he's not, no he's not, no he's not. Dude, no way he kills 40. Oh, okay, okay. Just gonna drink some moon juice, okay? What fucking moon juice? We don't have any moon juice. It's a safe word. If you just say that, he'll let you out. There's been a fucking safe word. Aru! <laughs> Hell, did I get him back? Or Ooh. What is that? Like all the blood on it? All the blood on his hands for everyone he's killed? Like his subconscious is my question and I'll answer yours. Why does he have to be a sociopath? Maybe he's a man who would do anything for love. Somewhere between one and three hours. <sighs> Kept saying, um, there was blood on your hands. Was Ooh. there? Ooh. What he did to uh, Jasper. No, hands clean. Crack. Mexico City, 9.02 a.m. It's not making that flight. I refuse your goodbye. So long that has felt right. She's making it so hard to leave for Joe. Forgive your stupid lie. I just, I want to be with you. Want that too? Yes. More than anything. Whatever you're running from, we can figure it out together. No, we can't. No, we can't. If only that were true. Yeah. What if we uh, run away together? Start over. Just the two of us. <laughs> away from your parents. You could finish cooking school in Paris. Dude, let's go to Paris. That'd be lit, actually. Bring the show over to Paris. I would love that. What about 40? Yeah, she can't leave him. We'll take 40 with us. Mm. Wherever we go. Okay. Will you meet me tomorrow morning? I have something to tend to. But then I'm yours. I wolf you. 
A few more. Yeah, he's not leaving. He's not leaving. He has to kill. He has to kill Delilah. I'll negotiate he with Delilah. Well, there's 40. We'll uh, figure that one out. Ooh, who the fuck is, is that his mom? Yeah, it's his mom. Do you really think your love story is going to have a happy ending? No. Of course not. Stop. People like us don't change. I've changed. Then why are you already <laughs> thinking of ways to get rid of 40? Just like Delilah. It was a done deal once you threw her in that cage. She's already dead. I let Will out. I'm gonna let Delilah out. No. Are you sure? Yeah, his blood on his hands again. From everyone he's killed. Whoa. Whoa. I figured it out. <laughs> Watch this be the best script of all time. It was a crime of passion by someone who loved her. But Dr. Nikki didn't love her. Hey, he's gonna think back to the boyfriend. Side piece. Yeah. Her ex-boyfriend loved her, though. Mm-hmm. What ex-boyfriend? She mentions him a few times in the book. Never even by name. But he murdered her in a jealous rage, and he framed Dr. Nikki. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. You don't have to kill 40. Like, 40's on to you. But he suspected like... him, though. Dude, you don't, you don't have to kill him. You don't have to. You want to know how I figured it out? How? I'll forgive you. No, 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 no. We're not. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Because it's exactly what I did. Mm. I was in love with Sophia. I loved her. She loved me. And he murdered her. When I found out she was seeing some college guy, mm. I felt this rage inside of me, and I blacked out, and I killed her. Damn. So that's, okay, that makes more sense about what the mom was talking about earlier. Parents made it look like a suicide. Yeah. Do you know how painful it's been carrying around a secret like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joe more would More than he'll ever know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm a monster. No, because I'm a, I'm way worse. You should write it. You should fictionalize it. Taking as many liberties as possible. <laughs> she would be crazy to let you go. Get to Delilah before those cuffs open up. But I'm rewriting our movie. Fuck, we have that. Steps inside, eager to set Delilah free. Mm -hmm. And begin the rest of his life. Wait, she's already gone, huh? So I'm just, it's gonna be something. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? What? What? What the fuck? I need to know what happened. I need to see the next episode immediately. No. All right. Well, that was season two, episode eight. Joe originally had this plan to get out of there safe and sound, but no, 40 got in his way. 40 just kept giving him obstacle after obstacle. And by the time he got back to Delilah, she is dead. And so, okay, only two things could have happened. One, she probably, which I think is the most likely case, just off herself okay or since she was cuffed i mean her wrist was right here maybe like the cuff was like cutting into her wrist you know since she was there for so long and like i don't know just having her arm hang like that that's that's a possibility she could have you know had it cut open and then she bled out and died i either one's a possibility but i guess we'll find out for sure in the next episode but, um, yeah, so she's dead. Okay. Well, that kind of takes care of itself, I guess. So now Joe can stay. Like, RIP Delilah, that fucking sucks. Yeah, that, that sucks for Ellie a lot. But, hey, I mean, Joe can stay, I guess, now. Like, fuck. That sucks. But Fincher's going to be all over this. I don't know how Joe's going to kind of make it look like she just disappeared without it being extremely sus. You know? He could do what he did with Benji, with Delilah, but Ellie's too smart, Fincher's too smart. They're gonna investigate, they're gonna figure out what happened, and it's just gonna be a mess. Yeah, I, Joe's, I think Joe's a little bit fucked here. I think he's gonna try and get love and leave anyway. He's bring 40 too, but 
Dude, four has been a fucking pain in the ass, dude. He's just a he's a selfish pain in the ass, dude. But yeah, that was season two, episode eight. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.